Hello guys, so Jared speaking, welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 326, and today we're going to do the Pokewell Puppy. So let's read it now, shall we? So we got for us. The Pokewell Puppy is written by, um, say, Jeanette of uh, Sherbin Lolly, illustrated by Gareth Turner, and how pronounce his last name. So there we go, this is copyright 1942. Renewed 1970 by Ram House Incorporated. All I deserve. So there you go. That was basically on that one. So there you go on that. So anyway. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Something like that. Yeah, plants. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make any sense about why, why, well. Yes. Anyway. Excuse my language, but that's just me. Anyway. Um, through the mill, they went down the road, um, over the bridge, over, around the green grass, and up the hill, and w one after the other. Over. Okay, I misspoke anyway. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted, um, um, themselves one, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Okay? Now, where is, where, in the planet... Yeah, I was going to say that, but anyway, in, in that pokey little puppy, they wondered, um, for he certainly wasn't on the top of the hill. Now, the thing here is, you couldn't find it everywhere at all, the puppy, so there you go on that. Next page. Anyway, he wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see that's going to down was a fuzzy caterpillar. Wow. He wasn't coming on this side. The only thing that could see um, coming up was a quick green lizard. Wow. It all makes sense now anyway. Caterpillars and lizards are like reptiles. So, there you go. Next page. Um, when they looked down at the gr grassy place, Near the bottom of the hill, there he was, running round, round, his nose to the ground. Mm hmm. Should have been perfect, so. Anyway. Makes sense, anyway, so there you go on that. Next page. Anyway. What is he doing? Um, the four little puppies asked one another. And down there they went to see Roy Poly, Pell Mel. Tell of Bumbo. So they came to came to green grass and they went and it went to stop short. What in the world is are you doing yeah, it didn't make any sense. Sorry. Anyway, are you doing? They yeah, asked. So, um smell something, mm hmm Said the pokey little puppy. Um, these are four little puppies began to sniff. Mm hmm Um and they smell it as well. Mm hmm Rice puddling, they said. And home they went as fast as they could. Good. Um, over in the bridge, up the the, the, the road, through the mill, and on the fence. Um, and there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them. It was rice puddling, puddling for the dessert. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly what it was. So there you go, even though it makes sense in any way, so there you go on that, even though it makes sense to good enough for all of us. So there you go. Next page. Anyway, but their mother was greatly displeased. Um, so you're a little, little puppies who dig holes in the, on the fences. Wow. Oh, man. She said, no ice pudding tonight. Really? And she made it go straight to bed. So the puggy little puppy came home after everyone should, so was sound asleep. He all the rice put and crawled into bed and every abbey's alarm. Now the next morning someone had found the hole and put a sign that the sign had reads Don't ever date holes until under the fence. But the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same. And went for a walk into the wide of the planet. It's just 
didn't know what to do next. Fortunately, it didn't make any sense at all. Sorry. So, yeah. Next page. Anyway. Through the mill, they went down the road under the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, um, two and two. Uh, and when they got to top of the hill, they counted themselves one, two, three, four. One more probably wasn't there. When they're in the world, um, is that pokey little puppy? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Sorry. They wondered. So, for, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing he could be going to be going down was a big black spire. Ugh, why? He wasn't coming up the, the side. The only thing that I could see coming up with the brown hot tobe. Um, okay. But it was, when they looked down the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there was. Mm hmm. There was trouble, all right, even though it makes sense in any way, even though it didn't go enough. So, there you go. The Pokey Little Puppy. Stand still. At the stove, with his head on the white side of his ears, choked up. Okay, what is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. Down they went to see. Um, Roly Poly, Pal Smell, Tubba Bumbo, till they came to see the green grass, and they and they were stopped short. What in the planet are you doing? They asked. I hear something. The puppy said the little puppy, little puppy. The four little puppies listened, and they could hear it as well. Chocolate custard, they cried. Someone spooned in, in, in the rice bowl. At home, they went um um as fast as they could go um and over the bridge, up the well, through the mill, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, there was a stairway for them. Chocolate custard for dessert. But the mother was greatly displeased. So the little puppies will dig. Will dig. Wow. I don't want to say next between this one and difficult times to sign saying no. Um, digging in the, in the hole. It just makes sense. It's, I don't want to say. It's just they, they need to leave. You know. And learn how to leave, you know. That's why I'm saying. Holes under the fence. She said, no chocolate custard tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the Pokey Little Puppy came home after everyone else was sound asleep. And he ate up all the co chocolate custard and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. Mm-hmm. The next morning, someone had fouled the hole uh, and put a sign. The sign read said this. Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. Yeah, they did anyway. But, in spite of that, the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence. They went for the walk on the, on the, on the wide, wide, and in the planet. Excuse me. Through the mill, they went uh, down the road, over the bridge, over the green grass, over the hill, and two and two, and went, um, they got in the top of the hill, they counted themselves, one, two, three, four, one little puppy wasn't there. Now, where on the planet is, um, that little puggle little puppy? They wondered, so he certainly wasn't on the top of the hill. You know, it kind of makes sense, so that sign wasn't there anymore, so it just didn't make any sense in any way, so there you go. You need to do this in any way. Anyway, next page. Anyway, he wasn't going down the other side, so the only thing that they could see going down was a little grass snake. He wasn't going up this, this side. 
The only thing I see coming up was a big grasshopper. Mm hmm. And up they went, they had to do something about it. So, they go and die. Even though it had to make sense to A by. So, there you go. Next page. Anyway. Um. But the way they walked down the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was looking hard at stomping the ground in front of him. What is he doing? Four puppies said, asked one another. Um, and down it they went to see Roly Poly, Bell Mill, Tumble Bumble, so they went, came to the green grass. And there they stopped short. And what is it, what are you, are you doing? Um, they asked. I don't know what to do next. I see something, said the little puppy, little puppy. Four puppies look, and they could see as well. The ripe, um, red strawberry growing down the grass. Strawberry shortcake. Okay. It's all makes sense, though. There you go. It has to be looking for more difference in any way, so. Very good that. So, very good that, folks. But, you know, that's just me. Got two more, three more pages left. Anyway. The home, they went as fast as they could go. Over the bridge, over the road, and, and through the mill and the fence. And there was enough, sure enough, was their way for them. Was strawberry shortcake for dessert. But their mother said to you, the little puppies were dug the hole under the fence again. No strawberry shortcake for supper tonight. And so she made them straight to bed. The four puppies waited till they got the thought that she was asleep. Then they were slipped out and filled the hole. And when they turned around, um, there was a mother watching them. What good little puppies, she said. Come have some strawberry shortcake. Uh-huh. Makes sense in any way. And this time, when the puppy little puppy got home, he had to squeeze in through a wide place in the fence. And there was and his three, four little brothers and sisters licking their last crumb in the, in the saucer. Dear me, said his mother. What, P, you're so pokey. Now the strawberry shortcake is all gone. So the pokey little puppy has to go to bed without a single bite of shortcake. And he felt very sorry for himself. Now... It all makes sense to me, so he had to be it that way, so for the farmer and all that good stuff in any way, so there you go or not. Last page of the book saying this. The next morning someone had to put up a sign that reads this. No desserts ever, unless puppies never dig holes under this fence again. You know, Puggle Old Puppy is a casual book, and it was it was very amazing. So overall, it was a big successful book to read. So there you go. So that was basically that book, and I wanted to give out props to this book and and say world parts. You know, you know, and it shouldn't say planet. I'm sorry, but you know, but that's just me. And that was with Bedtime Stories, episode number 326. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. The next one's going to be Firehouse Rescue. Uh, there's colors in the rainbow. Till next time, so the Jones and Bob, so baby. For more Bedtime Stories episodes, guys, be still. Till out. See ya.